Hey there, what is going on? I'm going to show you how to create this, uh, these weird forms and shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get uh, notified with daily updates. Okay, so uh, this basically came out from this. It's pretty easy to make these. Uh, you make it with the plan tool. Make sure you you're on the stroke and your fill is uh, deselected. You can press none, so you don't have any color in there. I'm gonna select the black. And uh, yeah, well, you can make it like uh, from a square also. Press and hold shift plus alt, select your square. You can select it right here. I'm gonna copy and paste this one. Control C, Control F, so it's gonna place another square on the square. Press and hold shift, rotate it once. And select both, go to object, go to blend and make. As you can see, it is going to bend the square and it's going to fit right there. And I, you also can multiply these with the blend tool right here. Double click on that. Click previews, go to specify steps, increase the numbers and it's gonna increase the number only into in these triangles. I'm gonna leave it like this. Also, I found another way with the star. As you can see, I can create it with this. Usually the star is at five uh, edges. You can decrease or increase with the down or up arrow. With the down arrow, you decrease. With the up arrow, you multiply these with more stuff. Actually, I'm gonna try out one with uh, this one. Why not? And another one with, um, let me choose circle, I mean, start again. Okay. I'm going to decrease the number to this. Okay. So we have the forms. I'm going to create a new copy of this. See how it's going to, this is a new experiment. I didn't even try it out. Control C, Control F. Um, it should be somewhere around here. I can actually check with uh, this. This is the rotate tool. Double click on the rotation tool and just. Uh, I'm gonna go with 18 because 18 fits best. I'm gonna check out with this effect to see what is going to be, what is gonna become if I go to object blend and make. Oh, interesting. I don't know what. Double click on blend tool, click previews, specified steps. Wow. I always discover some weird stuff, to be honest. I started to make this tutorial and suddenly I just, I just, some, some stupid idea just came up on, on, in, into my head. And, you know, I just go into weird directions sometimes and this is one of those. And I also have a new idea for this. I can go to select the direct selection tool and I'm gonna select these edges, all of them. How to select all these, you press and hold shift and you just select what anchor points you would like. I selected all of these and I'm gonna curve these down now. Wow, so this way, basically create some flower. I won't go right into that. I'm gonna make it more edgy. Oh, all right, interesting. Start, start to become more interesting. I'm gonna also make these rounded. Bear with me. Okay. As you can see, there's like these little um, circle things, dots, where you can, you can pull those and wow. All right, not bad, not bad. Wow, okay, I'm starting to be impressed, I don't know. Uh, let me do another copy. I gotta decrease the size of uh, the stroke. You can increase it here, you get the stroke. If you don't have the stroke, you go to Windows and select stroke it's right there so we got a skinnier one we got, we got a thicker one i'm going to create a new copy and uh, also select all of these with the direct selection tool and decrease again uh, the curviness for all wow 
Okay, so yeah, you can experiment with a lot of weird stuff. This is definitely kind of weird. Uh, yeah, I gotta go and work with this. This one is familiar. I tried it once. Um, I gotta create a new copy. Control C, Control F. I'm gonna double click on the rotate tool, previews, and let me see if I find. Why am I... actually? What am I doing? I can switch this without the rotation tool like once. There you go. There you go. Okay. Same. Uh, same. Uh, Approach. I go to object, plan, make, double click here, previews, specified, increase the number. Increase the number. And as you can see, it starts to become more. Wait a sec. This one is strange, man. This one is bizarre. I got an idea. I gotta make these um, curved. This one. We're getting into some weird zones, boys. No, I wouldn't do that. Mm. Why is this creating this? I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta bend these actually the out, outside parts. But, it, but I like how it feels. I like that. I'm gonna curve it like this. Uh, no, not really. Or like this. Okay, uh, I got too much lines going on for this one, so I gotta decrease the number. Double click on blend tool, decrease the number. The number. I gotta leave it like this. Hmm. Alright. Double click on this. See that? It's behaving really strange. 22 is pretty good. I don't know what is this. I gotta create a new copy actually and curve more stuff. These are sharp so far. I gotta curve them a little bit. Oh, check it out. Did I try this one? I don't even remember. But anyways, I'm going to create a new copy and then double click on the rotate tool and click OK. 22 is perfect. I don't know what to say. It's strange and bizarre. I'm going to actually decrease the number and decrease the thickness of the stroke. So I can decrease the middle. Um, yeah, four is pretty OK. I'm going to increase the number of the stroke. Uh, strange, strange stuff. I don't know what to say, but uh, I pretty, pretty much like this one or this one. And this is how you basically experiment with uh, weird forms and shapes. Um, I just wanted to show you some stuff with the blend tool, and it turned out that I just went into the, like some weird, weird ass direction. So yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out the other videos also at the end. And uh, yeah. Like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.